one of the things we're excited about um, in the act is this Neighborhood Homes Investment Act, which would create a tax credit for refurbishing houses right. so we could protect and upgrade existing housing stock that doesn't meet, isn't up to code today. And it solves that math problem where if today, if we went in and rehabbed a house in some of these neighborhoods, it wouldn't appraise for what we had to put into the, right. the work. This would be a tax credit to help solve that. Talk about, do you think there are good prospects for that and, and uh, how that fits into the bigger housing equation? I think it's a great project. Anytime you can buy a house for a reasonable amount of money. I mean, there are houses in neighborhoods in which I see every day thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 that we can purchase, we can put people in, we can rehabilitate those homes. And if we do them on a large scale, which we can, you know, people don't want to be that first person in the neighborhood, but if we're doing 10 of those homes, or if we're doing a whole neighborhood, we revitalize the entire neighborhood. And so what you find yourself with is these new, up and coming, on the edge kind of neighborhoods that now everybody wants to live in. But we can put people in there for a reasonable cost. Uh, nine times out of 10, under $100,000. Where do you do that today? Right. And so we have to start looking at everything that is shiny and new and realize that we have some gems that we can uh, make viable in a very short period of time, but we ignore them. So we allow them to sit abandoned, to decay, instead of saying, we have this housing stock, which is, which is solid. It just needs some care. Right. But we have redlined those communities for generations, and it's time to stop. It's time to utilize what we have available to us. And I think that we can do it if we have the will to.